In the previous video, we discussed the concept of simplification, that is, how to simplify our lives in order to make better decisions. In this video, I would like to divide decisions and events into two broad categories. This will help us in discussing how to deal with each category. Pick an area of your life. You probably have certain goals you would like to achieve in this area, right? You might have financial goals or want a happier life, etc. Consider 10 years from now, you look back at the decisions and events that helped or hurt you in achieving your goals. Now I would like to categorize these events and decisions into two groups, high impact and low impact. High impact decisions are the ones that have a lot of influence over your life. Your decisions in these instances determine a lot. Low impact ones determine much less individually, but their numbers is much greater. Typically, both categories are equally important. For example, suppose your goal is to be healthy. Let's say from today to 10 years from now, you want to improve your health. Being healthy is a result of many factors. Many small decisions you make every day do have an impact on your health. For example, drinking soda is less healthy than drinking a glass of water. If you isolate that decision, it has almost no impact on your final goal. But all of these little decisions add up. If you decide to drink soda instead of water every single day, this will definitely have some sort of impact on your overall health at the end of the 10 years. Therefore, we can say it has an accumulating impact. On the other hand, there are some decisions or events that only occur once but have a long-lasting effect on your goal of being healthy. These are high-impact decisions or events. For example, if I get into an accident and I am severely injured, that single incident severely impacts my health. Let's look at another example to clarify this. Consider your financial goal. Suppose your 10-year goal is simply to be financially successful. The low-impact decisions here would be things like saving a few dollars every day, deciding not to buy things you don't really need, etc. If they happen just once, they don't have much of an impact. But since you repeat these decisions multiple times every day, their impact accumulates, affecting your end goal of financial success. On the other hand, there are also some high-impact decisions that could affect this goal. Say you start a business and it's extremely successful. This will obviously help you achieve this goal. However, if it isn't successful, this could be detrimental to your 10-year goal. To summarize, we can better understand the role that every decision and event plays in our life by categorizing them. Some seem insignificant in the grand scheme of things, but accumulate over time, which are the low-impact decisions. Others, the high-impact decisions and events, occur only a few times, but have a big impact single-handedly. Both of these categories are typically equally important in achieving goals nearly in every aspect of life. It is important to keep two things in mind here. Firstly, it is extremely easy to underestimate the impact of small decisions. Secondly, it is also very easy to underestimate the probability of the high-stakes events. We may be aware of their importance, but we may also think they are more unlikely than they really are. For example, Nassim Taleb discusses what is called the turkey illusion. Consider a turkey that is being fed every day by a butcher. The turkey considers the butcher a nice person who will not harm him because he associates him with food and care. After so many hundreds of days, once the turkey has reached its adult size, the butcher kills the turkey. In this situation, the event of killing the turkey was statistically rare. It only happened one day out of hundreds. So the turkey was completely oblivious to it and didn't think about it. The point here is that it is easy for us to become like the turkey. We may disregard an event simply because it is technically rare, but is still inevitable. Now, the reason for having high impact and low impact categories is that we should treat them differently. An important point here is that the overall effect of the low impact decisions are governed by the law of large numbers. For example, suppose there are two college students, A and B. Student A studies all the time and puts a lot of time into her work, whereas student B does not. 
while there may be some tests and exams where perhaps student B does better or they both do poorly for whatever reason, at the end of four years, student A will have a higher GPA due to the sheer number of tests they have taken. GPA is a perfect example of the accumulative impact of small events, and the law of large numbers governs this situation. In the long run, the students' GPAs will reflect their average amounts of effort or work. The main point to take away from this video is this. Low impact decisions are governed by the law of large numbers, so we will take advantage of this issue when dealing with them. High impact decisions and events are not dictated by the law of large numbers, so it is important to be even more aware of them and take a different mathematical and probabilistic approach to them. Both types of decisions are important, but they must be approached in different ways. We will discuss each category and examples of them in detail in the next videos.